Hello, writers. Welcome back to the writer's room. Happy Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving week, and I am so, 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 so grateful that we have spent this year together, some of you multiple years, doing the writer's room every single week. What a joy. What an incredible honor. I am so grateful to be in community with such phenomenal human beings, men and women committed to their missions, to their craft, to changing the world with your stories and message. Um, it is just top of my gratitude list. And I am dedicating this week's writer's room to just invite us all to be in a rampage of gratitude. There's a book called Ask and It Is Given by Abraham Hicks. And Abraham always talks about doing rampages of appreciation or torrents of gratitude. So that's our work this week, not just on Thursday, sitting around a table, if you are in America and, and celebrating American Thanksgiving, I know many of you are in, in all kinds of wonderful countries all over the world. So know that we are celebrating and grateful for you, um, wherever you live, those of us celebrating American Thanksgiving this week, let's do gratitude every day. Gratitude is a causative energy. It it actually opens the heart brain, like it changes the ganglia in the heart. It changes our neural pathways to be open and receptive to synchronicities and um, miracles, magic, more financial abundance, more health and wellness. There is there is nothing but good that gets created by gratitude, and it and it feels good, doesn't it? You know, if your mind is sort of in the oh, I'm like this or this, or I'm worried about this or what about this that I haven't figured out. We take a breath, count to three. You can even use that Mel Robbins, five, four, three, two, one, and then truly get in and just find something. My, my, the way I practice this is just try something I can really feel. Not that I'm just saying in my head, I'm grateful of a home. I'm grateful that I have um, health today. I'm great. You know, I am grateful for all of those things deeply, but I, I try to get in here in the heart and the soul and feel something. And sometimes it's something really little. Like I have an electric blanket that, um, cause I, I, get cold a lot. And I have an electric blanket in my room that is in my reading chair. And it's just divine. When I lay back and I'm reading and I feel that warmth spreading through my body and it's just relaxing my back, I am incredibly grateful. It's this silly thing I bought on Amazon for $20 years ago. And it has brought me so much comfort and joy and it feels cozy and it feels nourishing and relaxing. And I just love that electric blanket. And I, I really feel gratitude for it because it's, it's very comforting. So it can be a little teeny thing, or it can be something really big, like your family members, your health, the home that you have, the fact that um, I've met a lot of people that have traveled to countries where they couldn't get clean water. So I really think about water a lot. I drink a lot of water. I love to be hydrated and I can have as much water as I want living where I do. I can have any water I want. It's to my knowledge, clean. Um, I have filtered water in my, I mean, that is so, so these don't have to be huge, crazy, like things in the world. This can be just what is right here where you are. Let's be in deep and profound gratitude. Let's do rampages of appreciation today. Torrents of gratitude. Share with us. I'd love to hear what you're grateful for. And I am putting you at the top of my gratitude list right now. See you next week.